Hi my friends, we are back with another video. So we're gonna start off this everyday fall simple makeup look by priming our eyelids. I prefer to use concealer, you can use eyeshadow primer, it doesn't matter. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Deep and I'm just blending that out with my little, uh, little sponge, makeup sponge. And then after that, you're gonna see I'm gonna be using my Ben Nye Banana Powder to set it. And of course, what's a fall makeup look without the Morphe 350, right? So I'm gonna be using that color that was just shown where that like purple star was since I don't have names for this palette um, for the eyeshadows. And I'm putting that into my crease and using that as my transition shade. And I'm just blending it all out. I'm just gonna go in with that orangey shade right there and I'm gonna be using that as a base for my eyelid. And so as you can see, I'm blending everything out so there's no harsh lines. And right on top of that orangey shade, I'm using that color right there, like kind of like halfway through the palette. It's like a reddish brown shade. And I'm just packing it right on top of my lid. And now I'm using that chocolatey brown in the last row and I'm putting it like in my outer V. I'm just gonna blend it all out. I'm packing more of that reddish brown back into my lid because we did lose some color along the way and I really want that to pop out. And then of course we are going to blend everything out again no harsh lines and now I'm gonna be going in with this facial oil serum that I recently got um, just trying it out it's getting colder out and I really need that moisture so yeah I'm using this facial oil serum from this company called Symphony Beauty and it has like rose oil in it and seed oil and all of this good stuff and I'm pretty much using that to prime with but then I am going in with the Fenty Beauty Primer and I am only using it in like the T-zone area since it's supposed to minimize the pores. So I'm using those two as my primer for today. And then I'm going in of course with the Fenty Beauty Foundation, the Pro Filter Foundation. And I'm using this oval brush I got um, to blend everything in. And then of course I'm going back in with my Tarte Shape Tape in deep and I'm going to be concealing under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin and I'm going to blend everything out with that same little tear looking beauty sponge.
using my Invisimap blotting powder from Fenty Beauty to set under my eyes and the bridge of my nose, of my forehead and my chin, everywhere I had concealed. I told you guys I was going to use it to set and that's what I do. And now I'm bronzing it up just a little bit using my Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder in Ebony. Light plot twist, right? So I decided to try using the Invisimap blotting powder to help carve out my bronzer. So that's what I'm doing there. And I'm going in with my Milani Big Blush in Rose Doro. And I'm using this clean, big blending brush to just blend everything out because we don't like harsh lines. After this, I did apply my Wet n Wild highlighter in Precious Petals, just letting you guys know because it didn't show on camera. And this is me praying real quick because I haven't done a winged eyeliner in a minute. And you see I'm trying to do that and I'm using my black stiletto Maybelline, I believe, liquid eyeliner. Everything's going to be listed down below. You guys always know that. So in case I'm wrong, just look down in the DB. Um, I decided that it was alright. And now I'm going in with this... The Volume Colossal Mascara, the writing came off on it, so I had to think about that for a minute there. And then for the bottom lashes, I'm going to be using my Tarte, the Tartiest Mascara. And now I'm going to that light brown shade at the bottom row just to, you know, set under my eyebrows. And I'm going back into my Naked 2 palette because it's been a minute. And I'm using that color right there, I believe it's called Chopper, for my inner corner highlight. And we're gonna set with that rose water spray, you feel me? So now I'm using that chapstick because we're gonna be using liquid lipsticks. I'm showing you guys two different color options. The first one's a little more dramatic. I'm using the Plush Plum um, Lip Lip Liner from Jordana, and I'm using my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. And I know I haven't used it in a while. And that's how that looks. Now this is lip option number two. I'm also using a Jordana lip liner. This one is in the color Cider and I'm using that to line my lips. And I'm going in with another oldie but goodie, ColourPop's Limbo, to go right on top of it. This one is a more subtle lip look with the, with the whole makeup look and I ended up going with this one. This one was definitely more down my lane. And that is how this look came out. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.